Hi there, and let's get to it. We're continuing to look at media organization, this time focusing on the smart bin function of the media page. These are the ones listed under your regular bins in the bin list view. And they are an incredibly powerful way of filtering through your footage, made all the more powerful if you have metadata input into your individual clips. So for example, if you've assigned shot, scene, and take numbers for every clip, you can start to filter by scene and shot number. If you're compiling a documentary and you have certain topics that you want to be touching on at various points in the edit, you could write these points in the description of each individual clip and then choose to filter out the clips based on a particular topic. They're very easy to generate. Right-click inside of the bin list and add smart bin you'll see a dialog box asking you to identify what the criteria for your smart bin are. And at the bottom is a live reflection of all the clips that currently fit that criteria. I could, for example, want to identify only clips that I've labeled as being mid close-ups, in which case I want it to follow all of the below rules in which the shot and scene description contains the letters MCU. And now you can see that all of the clips with MCU in them have been output. So I can click on Create Smart Bin. And now I've revealed all of the clips in my project that have been labeled as mid close ups. It may seem like a very simple tool, but actually you can set up some pretty complicated filters. If I right click and say Add Smart Bin, I could choose, for example, to only show clips that were shot on a specific lens type that are under a certain duration, which may have been captured at a specific location. This is excellent for simplifying dailies. If you have a workflow in which you need to apply flags, in and out points, or effects to a set of clips sharing a common criteria, the smart bins will let you isolate your clips without breaking up their bin structure above. Lastly, smart bins are subject to further editing by right-clicking and selecting Edit Smart Bin, which will take you back to the original dialog box. You can also right-click to rename or delete them. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.